Hey, I, I've been getting a lot of questions about people uh, wanting to know how to use Groove IP. So I figured I'll show you how to do it. It's really simple. Uh, the questions are usually with 3G, 4G. The answer to all that is, well, the answer to 3G and 4G is yes, it does work with 3G and 4G. My whole point of using it is to not use 3G or 4G, is to make phone calls over Wi-Fi. Um, I already have it installed on my phone. You see up here that red icon. That's Groove IP. It's not on right now. Right now I'm signed out. So all you have to do is download it from the, from the market. Once you're in, it asks you your Google Voice name and your Google Voice password. That is the same username and same password that you have associated with your Gmail account. So whatever Gmail account you associated it with, all you do is put in your Gmail address and your Gmail password and then sign in. Hold on for a second. I'm just signing in so I can show you guys. Oh, messed up. <laughs> now, and there you go. Now I'm signed in. The red notification light turned, the red notification icon turned green. Um, you see how right here it says allow 3G, 4G calling. All you have to do is check it or uncheck it if you don't want to. Accept calls on answer. So when somebody calls your Gmail account, your Gmail voice, uh, phone number, they, it goes straight to the phone and you answer it without having to use the dialer. Um, really, everything else is real simple. Don't need to go into that. Uh, let's see how the dialer looks for you guys. And that's what you should get. You make a phone call regularly, you dial it, you call. If you have contacts, you if you have contacts you want to use, you use the contacts. When you get a call, it will be like normal. Your phone will ring. You answer it like normal. Um, one thing though is in order to ensure that it's working 100%, when after you install this on your phone, Go into your go to Google. Uh, on Google's homepage, it has a more option than go to Voice. Once you're in Voice, you go to Settings, and then it's gonna show your Google Voice number, and then underneath it, Forward Calls to. So instead of forwarding calls to a certain number, you're gonna put Forward Calls to your Google Talk account. That way, it works. With Groove IP much better because Groove IP what it does is it automatically signs into your Google Talk and it uses it that way. So people are technically calling your your Google Voice number, but it's using the IP of the Google Talk. So that's it. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. But that was real simple. A lot of people have asked, so I just decided to make a quick video showing it. All right, latest.